talk about uh, Pentaho metadata editor thing. So we'll talk about first about the metadata concept here. It is uh, data about data, though the second term is used in the preview of types like technical business and processes. Yes, as I explained, uh, metadata is nothing but it's a it maps your physical uh, data structure into a more logical business model. As you can see in the diagram, it is shown the domain model and the metadata terms. So you could see there is a, you know a thing like email person priority. But in in the business term, you you have it in different uh, you know. Uh, in a in a different language altogether. You could say it's a different language or different words you use it so that it is you know more uh, easily understandable to the non-technical person or the business users. So you have your with the email you have your subject, send date and all so and uh, priority type, priority level so these are the things. So it is data that describes business intelligence like mapping, aggregation, transformations and rules. So uh, yes, it, it, it is showing basically the mapping and the how the data is actually mapped all together. So this is it about this. Okay, Pentaho Metadata Editor tool. It's, it's a design tool for, from Pentaho that facilitates user to build Pentaho Metadata domain and relational model. Yes, it's a it's a tool for designing your uh, you know model for the uh, you know metadata model. Uh, as I said, uh, it it maps your physical structure to the business uh, model, so so that it's understandable to the business users. These mappings between physical to logical data are stored in centralized repository, which in turn helps administrator to achieve. Ha, huh, see. As I said, it creates uh, you know business specific data dictionary which gives better understanding of model. So the uh, data dictionary, as in you have your uh, business terms on top of your database terms, so that it's understandable to the end user, reducing low to no impact of change in low level database database because of abstraction layer. So if there are minor changes in the you know mm -hmm. databases, you don't have to worry on that. Setting fine access control to object and parameters using access control list. So uh, it's like what kind of access uh, you want to give to which user you can actually and what uh, you know object you want to expose to. Localizing information to users original settings. So you can actually uh, localize as in the languages you can actually do it. The uh, you can actually change it to. Okay, this is uh, Pentaho metadata. You can see that uh, the screen is there shown. Uh, as shown in the screenshot, which also gives a very system schematic view of these interface layout. Yes, as you, as you can see, there is uh, again on the left side, you could see there is connection and business model. So connection is again, you need to uh, first make, uh, you know, create a connection to which database you want to connect to and on the right side you could see there is a model designed here so this is these are all excuse me these are all uh, business terms or you could say they have used to show that the sample metadata model contains customers and their order details in the workspace on right side of the fan which is called metadata editor graph yes as i explained on the right side it is shown showing you the uh, detailed business model. You can see all the business objects represented on graph with their interrelationship. Yes, the relationships are defined one to many and many to many. These are all relationships which are defined here. Uh, the given screenshot despite metadata data model for the customers and their order details. Yeah, so uh, as you could see it talks about the customer and their orders and order details and the product and the payments. Okay, so we'll see here what is the like, like, uh, model of the metadata. Pendao metadata has metadata business model as one major component as shown. Uh, 
in the presentation in the representation each independent business object has its unique color pentaho domain has business objects as connection physical table physical columns business table business columns category so yeah uh, as you could see there is a you know on the on the left side there is physical layer so it 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 talks about more of the uh, the the database uh, columns and tables first relationship inherits from inherits the metadata with ability to override it whereas same business object had two objects actually one in the same i think you will understand all this you know in more detail and uh, you know once we will see that in our following classes how you actually develop this metadata module because here you want understand much but i'll try to explain so uh, in the in the in the uh, this thing on the top, uh, on the bottom you could see there is a inherits from relationship so uh, what it's doing it uh, the business layer is actually uh, making the relationship with the database the physical layer and now you uh, on the right side you would see how it will be shown in the to the business view like how it will be shown in the to the business user we have already seen this uh, i think no need to explain again but yes we'll we will definitely need to have some practical example around it once we have that some specific class we'll talk about this in detail 